the world of military technology, speed is everything. China and North Korea's drastic fast moves to exercise ballistic and hypersonic missiles close to Japanese waters made a significant shockwave. Japan defends itself with a $6.8 billion increase in military spending, 400 brand new Tomahawks bought from the US, and serious plans for Japanese hypersonic missiles that could wash away North Korean and Chinese neighbors in seconds. Let's see how the balance will shift. Recent Chinese military exercises close to Taiwan and North Korean ballistic missile tests made Japan take drastic actions. This resulted in $6.8 billion in extra military spending in 2021. The Japanese government added $6.8 billion in extra military spending and announced acquiring Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles as a counter-strike capability. The recent increase in Japanese defense spending also includes procuring new gear, such as aircraft carriers and domestic stealth fighters. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida revealed the intention to buy 400 American Tomahawks, capable of becoming operational by 2026 to 2027. Japan has already set aside 211.3 billion yen, that is 1.55 billion US dollars for this purpose. Although the average price of a Tomahawk missile in a 2019 US order was $1.35 million, there will likely be additional costs related to training and equipment needed to introduce the missile into Japanese service. That being said, Japan is also in the process of making its own hypersonic missiles, which are to be its deadliest weapon yet. But first, let's start with what Japan already has a grip on – new American Tomahawks. The New Tomahawk – Block 5 the Tomahawk cruise missile has been a staple of the United States military's arsenal for over three decades. With its precision guidance and long-range capabilities, it has been a valuable asset in missions ranging from airstrikes to naval engagements. The Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather subsonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines or surface ships. It has a range of up to 1,000 miles and is capable of carrying warheads including conventional, nuclear, and cluster munitions. The decorated missile measures 6.25 meters in length, has a diameter of 53.3 centimeters, and weighs approximately 3,200 pounds. It is powered by a turbofan engine that allows it to reach speeds of up to 547 miles per hour. The weapon is also equipped with advanced guidance systems that enable it to navigate through terrain and avoid obstacles. And now, the latest iteration of the Tomahawk has been unveiled. The Tomahawk Block 5 which reports say that it's what Japan is getting on this deal. The Block 5 boasts several new features and upgrades that make it the most effective and versatile Tomahawk yet. It can be launched from submarines, surface ships, and aircraft. With a range of over 1,500 miles, the new Tomahawk can hit targets deep within enemy territory, while its advanced guidance system ensures precise accuracy. It can even navigate complex terrain and avoid obstacles to reach its target. The Tomahawk Block 5 also features improved communications capabilities, allowing for real-time updates and adjustments to the mission plan. And perhaps most importantly, this latest Tomahawk has a modular design that allows for customization based on mission requirements. This means it can be equipped with different payloads, including high-explosive warheads, anti-ship or anti-tank missiles, and even non-lethal payloads like electronic warfare equipment. With its advanced features and versatility, the Tomahawk Block 5 is poised to be a game-changer in modern warfare. But Tomahawks are not the only American-made toys Japan possesses. The Japanese Shield SM-3 This one is actually co-designed and produced with Japan, thus both nations' navies have the right to use the technology. The SM-3 Block 2A Interceptor is a highly capable missile defense system designed to intercept incoming ballistic missiles in their mid-course phase of flight. It is specifically designed to counter intermediate range and intercontinental ballistic missiles. The interceptor uses a hit-to-kill kinetic warhead to destroy its target with pinpoint accuracy. Its kill vehicle hits threats with the force of a 10-ton truck traveling 600 miles per hour. This technique, referred to as hit-to-kill, has been likened to intercepting a bullet with another bullet. It features a two-color infrared seeker that allows for precision tracking and targeting of incoming ballistic missiles. Additionally, the interceptor uses an onboard processor to guide it toward its target, allowing it to make mid-course corrections and adjust its trajectory as needed. 
The interceptor has been a crucial part of Japan's missile defense system since its introduction in 2011, with a unit cost between 9 to 25 million dollars. Japan has deployed the interceptor on its Aegis-equipped destroyers, which provide a vital layer of protection against ballistic missiles. Japan's defense forces have used the interceptor in several missile tests, successfully intercepting target missiles and demonstrating its effectiveness. The SM-3 deployment has definitely given Japan a level of security against the threat of ballistic missiles. But all that is for reaction purposes. What about if Japan wants to attack? Well, Japan has finally, since 1945, decided to show its fangs again by planning and executing a mega-project for new Japanese hypersonic missiles that can destroy the whole continent. Japanese Upcoming Hypersonic Missile The government announced the deployment of two classes of standoff hypersonic systems, the Hypersonic Cruise Missile, or HCM, and the Hypervelocity Gliding Projectile, or HVGP. The former will have a scramjet engine and look like a regular missile, but it will cruise at a considerably faster rate and be able to cover great distances. In contrast, the HVGP will have a solid-fuel rocket engine that will raise the warhead payload to a high altitude before separation. From there, it will glide toward its target while maintaining a high speed until impact. Further information on warhead payloads was also released by the CIA, with several warheads intended for both seaborne and terrestrial targets. Although a land attack variant will make use of a high-density, explosively formed projectile, or EFP, for area suppression, the former will be an armor-piercing warhead made expressly for piercing the deck of the aircraft carrier. The latter will employ numerous EFPs, more generally known as a shaped charge, to provide area suppression effects. An EFP consists of a high explosive supported by a concave metal hemispherical or cone-shaped liner, all enclosed in a steel or aluminum casing. The metal liner is crushed and forced forward when the high explosive is ignited, creating a jet whose tip may move as quickly as 6 miles per second. Japan's roadmap also revealed the country is taking an incremental approach with regard to designing the shapes of warheads and developing solid fuel engine technology, with plans to field early versions of both in the 2024 to 2028 timeframe. They are expected to enter service in the early 2030s. Japan's hypersonic missile technology represents a significant leap forward in missile technology. These missiles can travel at speeds of over Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. This means that they can hit their targets in a matter of minutes, making them nearly impossible to intercept. What's more, these missiles can maneuver in flight, making them even harder to track and shoot down. They are designed to be multi-purpose, with both offensive and defensive capabilities. They can be used to strike targets on land or at sea, and can also be used to take out enemy missiles before they reach their targets. With their incredible speed and maneuverability, these missiles are a true game-changer in modern warfare. The details of Japan's hypersonic missile are still not fully known, but it is expected to have a much smaller size and higher speed compared to the Tomahawk, measuring in at around 3 to 4 meters in length and a diameter of around 30 to 40 centimeters. Its weight is also expected to be significantly lower. The Japanese purchase of 400 U.S. Tomahawk missiles and building its own hypersonic missile emphasize its commitment to raise more power. What else will increase Japanese capacity is you to click on that subscribe and like button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.